2027, 2028, 2029, 2030. These four years will witness the most important upgrade in Bitcoin's history, one that transforms it from a cryptocurrency into the quantum-hardened backbone of humanity's AGI future. I'm not talking about some distant sci-fi fantasy. I'm talking about Bitcoin's quantum-resistant upgrade that's already being coded, tested, and prepared for deployment by 2030. And here's the kicker. This isn't just about survival. It's about Bitcoin becoming the decentralized steward of artificial general intelligence in a way that ensures all of humanity benefits. Right now, as I'm recording this, a groundbreaking Bitcoin improvement proposal is being finalized. It's called Post Quantum Migration and Legacy Signature Sunset, and it's being developed by cryptographers legends, including Jameson Lopp and Christian Papathanasiou. This isn't just another technical upgrade. This is Bitcoin's evolution into something unprecedented. The world's first quantum-proof decentralized monetary system. The numbers are staggering. About 25% of all Bitcoin's unspent outputs have already revealed public keys on-chain, making those funds particularly vulnerable to quantum attacks. We're talking about potentially hundreds of billions of dollars at risk. But here's what the mainstream media won't tell you. 75% of Bitcoin wallets are already safe from quantum attacks due to the address types they use. This isn't about Bitcoin being broken. It's about Bitcoin getting stronger. Let's talk about it. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Academic forecasts suggest quantum machines capable of threatening Bitcoin could arrive as early as 2027 to 2030. Google's Willow chip has only 105 qubits, but we need 13 million qubits to crack Bitcoin's cryptography. That sounds like a lot, but quantum progress isn't linear. It's exponential. IBM's quantum roadmap points to thousands of qubits by 2033. Still far from the millions needed, but the trajectory is clear. Recent advances like Microsoft's Majorana chip are accelerating development faster than anyone expected. The Bitcoin developers aren't waiting. They're implementing a phased approach. Phase one, stop sending Bitcoin to vulnerable legacy addresses. Phase two, five years later, freeze Bitcoin in old vulnerable addresses. Phase three, Implement recovery mechanisms for frozen Bitcoin using cryptographic proof of ownership. Phase four, complete migration to quantum resistant infrastructure by 2030. This isn't just damage control, it's strategic evolution. As the proposal states, the longer we postpone migration, the harder it becomes to coordinate. The technical solution is elegant and powerful. It's called Qubit, pay to quantum resistant hash, P2QRH, and it uses quantum resistant signature schemes like Sphinx Plus and Falcon 10 Nu 4. Here's the genius part. Quantum resistant addresses come with a 16x discount in block space costs. Bitcoin is literally incentivizing users to upgrade with cheaper transaction fees. It's the same economic strategy that successfully drove adoption of segregated witness. The qubit system doesn't just make quantum attacks impossible. It makes them uneconomical, just like Bitcoin's proof of work makes 51% attacks theoretically possible, but economically impractical. Wait, I said Bitcoin is the decentralized cryptocurrency of the future. That was intentional. In a world moving toward AGI, decentralization isn't just preferred, it's essential for human survival. 
Think about what we're facing. Artificial general intelligence systems that could surpass human intelligence across all cognitive tasks. The question isn't whether AGI will emerge, it's who controls it when it does. Sam Altman, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, they all claim they want AGI to benefit humanity, but their centralized approach conceals a darker agenda. As AI researcher Ben Gertzel warns, large corporations will use these AIs to make themselves more money, and countries with large militaries will use these AIs to get themselves more power. Bitcoin's quantum resistant upgrade positions it as the perfect counterbalance. Here's why. Quantum hardened security. While tech giants scramble to address quantum threats, Bitcoin emerges with battle tested quantum resistant cryptography. This makes it uniquely suited to secure AGI systems that require absolute integrity. True decentralization, Bitcoin's consensus mechanism provides transparent democratic decision-making that can't be controlled by any single entity, even governments or corporations. Economic incentives aligned with humanity. Unlike corporate AGI projects driven by profit, Bitcoin's decentralized nature naturally aligns with broad human benefit rather than concentrated power. Global accessibility. Bitcoin's quantum resistant network becomes the infrastructure that ensures AGI benefits reach everyone, not just the wealthy or powerful. The Artificial Superintelligence Alliance, featuring organizations like Singularity Net, Ocean Protocol, and Fetch.ai, is already building toward decentralized AGI. They understand what tech billionaires don't want you to know. Centralized AGI is an existential threat to human agency. As computer scientist Ben Gertzel puts it, if you look at how we're operating the world right now as a species, and you think about introducing AI that's roughly as smart as people, the most obvious thing to happen is that large corporations use these AIs to make themselves more money. Bitcoin's quantum resistant upgrade gives us a different path. Instead of AGI serving corporate masters, it can serve humanity through a truly decentralized network that no single entity can control. Phase 1, 2025 to 2030, the Quantum Shield Bitcoin completes its quantum-resistant migration, emerging as the most secure digital infrastructure on Earth. Early AGI systems begin recognizing Bitcoin's quantum-hardened network as the ideal foundation for resource allocation and governance. Phase 2, 2030 to 2035. The decentralized AGI economy, AGI systems running on Bitcoin's quantum resistant infrastructure, begin solving humanity's greatest challenges, eliminating material scarcity, optimizing global resource distribution, creating abundance for all rather than just the few. Phase 3, 2035 and above true post-scarcity. The combination of quantum-resistant Bitcoin and decentralized AGI creates an economy where humans don't need to work for survival, but can focus on creativity, exploration, and fulfillment. David Carvalho, CEO of Naris Protocol, puts it bluntly, a breach would be catastrophic for holders whose funds would be gone forever and the ecosystem at large. Uh, but he adds something crucial. The real threat isn't quantum technology itself, but the community's delay in acting decisively. The same is true for AGI. The real threat isn't artificial intelligence. It's centralized artificial intelligence controlled by a handful of tech titans. Bitcoin's quantum resistant upgrade isn't just about protecting cryptocurrency. It's about ensuring that when AGI emerges, it serves all of humanity rather than just Silicon Valley billionaires. Here's why decentralization wins. Traditional banking systems are equally vulnerable to quantum attacks, actually more vulnerable because they lack Bitcoin's transparent open source development process. When quantum computers arrive, centralized financial systems will scramble for closed door solutions that serve their interest. 
Bitcoin is building its quantum resistance in the open with economic incentives that benefit users, not corporations. The 16x block space discount for quantum resistant addresses isn't just a technical feature, it's a statement of values. This is the model we need for AGI, open development, economic incentives aligned with users and no single point of control. As Blockstream CEO Adam Back says, I think quantum readiness is the right balance. Not like there is any current risk, nor likely for this decade or probably the next, but being ready is okay. Being ready for quantum computing means being ready for the AGI revolution. Bitcoin's quantum resistant upgrade positions it as the decentralized infrastructure that ensures AGI remains humanity's greatest tool rather than its greatest threat. We're not just watching Bitcoin evolve. We're watching the future of human agency take shape. In a world where artificial intelligence might surpass human intelligence, the systems we build today determine whether we remain free or become dependent. Bitcoin's quantum resistant future gives us that freedom. It gives us the chance to build AGI that serves all of humanity, not just the few who control it. The quantum countdown has begun. But for Bitcoin and for humanity's future with AGI, this isn't an ending. It's the beginning of true decentralized abundance. The choice is ours. The time is now. And Bitcoin is leading the way. What do you think? Will Bitcoin's quantum resistant upgrade position it as the ideal steward for AGI? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on the intersection of blockchain, AI, and humanity's future. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, we're not just teaching theories, we're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.